Hi, and welcome back to the JD Hobbies YouTube channel. As you know, we focus mostly on advanced score leader. Some of our viewers and friends have asked for gaming topics outside of the advanced squad leader world. So, we are starting the Tanks and the Garage series on our channel, which covers all games not advanced squad leader. Don't worry, we are still creating ASL videos and we have a lot of topics in the on-deck circle, such as concealment and fire lanes. Our first installment in the Tanks and the Garage series was a review of Steve Jackson's Munchkin. Our second game in the series that we're going to review is Klaus Teber's Katan. In this video, we are going to review the different components and do a setup to help you get right into the game. The most important of the components are the tiles. These tiles create for you the resources you need to build your settlements, roads, and cities. The other components are the border tiles, number tokens, and the harbor tokens. The first part is to create the border by assembling the border edges using the ocean hedges. Next, we turn all the tiles face down and mix them up. We then place them randomly inside the borders and place them inside the border as shown. Next, we turn the harbor tiles face down and shuffle them up as well. We place them randomly on top of the ship picture shown on the board. Now we come to the most important part, placing of the number tiles. We turn the tiles over with their letters facing us and place them in alphabetical order in a counterclockwise rotation on the map, starting in any corner of the board. We circle the board counterclockwise, placing the number of tiles, and skip over the desert, because the desert does not produce anything. We turn the number of tiles over, and now the players will do the two rounds of setup. In our game, we roll the dice to see who went first, and went clockwise after that. Each person gets to put down one settlement and one road for the first turn. Now, a settlement has to be attached to a road, so the setup is as follows for the first round. Once the little players place their first settlement and road, the person who went last now gets to put the next settlement down and then go in the other direction. Once all the settlements and roads are placed, each player takes one card for the resources adjacent to the second settlement placed. Then the game begins with the person who placed their settlement first. Now I would like to clarify one issue which came up in the playing of this game. There is a nebulous rule called the distance rule. Now put simply, each of your settlements and cities have to be at least two hex sides away from any of your other settlements and cities. So if you build a settlement or city, it, ha can, it can be two or three hex sides away from any other of your settlements or cities. This finishes our video on setting up Catan. I hope you found it useful and you enjoyed it. If you did, Please like us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. If you have any thoughts, questions, or suggestions, leave us a comment below or contact me at bob at table-top-war-games.com. You can check out more information about this great game and lots of other games at our website, www.table-top-war-games.com. And like always, thanks for watching, take care, and have some great gaming.